The model used in this series is the Professor Zombie model um, from Game Character Creation with Blender and Unity uh, by Chris Totten. Um, the entire HLSL series here um, will be using this model uh, for a demonstration. With shaders um, and graphics cards, the whole point in 3D modeling or, or 3D graphics is to make models that you can display on the screen out of triangles. And here in the Professor Zombie model, you can see the triangles um, that make up the model. In uh, your modeling program like Blender it tends to use uh, polygons uh, or quads um, quad is uh, short for quadrilateral um, which is uh, basically a four-sided object um, quads are made up of two triangles um, you can kinda see it in the chest area here let's see if I can kinda zoom in on a quad Yeah. Um, there you can see you have kind of rectangles formed out of uh, two triangles. Um, those are quads. Uh, anytime you have uh, a rectangle is always going to be a quad. A uh, square would be a quad. Um, but even irregular shaped four-sided uh, objects are quads. And they're always made up of two triangles. So at the graphics card level um, everything is triangles. All the uh, graphics card knows how to do is draw triangles. There's uh, basically three types of primitives um, that uh, DirectX knows. Uh, the point, the line, and the triangle. That's all it really knows how to draw. Um, I've never seen anybody use points. Uh, I'm not really sure what they're used for. Um, as far as lines, um, I will on occasion use lines uh, for various things, but for the most part everything you do is done by drawing triangles. Um, and then once you shade in these triangles um, and fill it in, uh, it starts looking like a solid object. Now, uh, I might point out a couple things with this model uh, that you may have noticed the inside of the mouth area there um, is modeled most everything on the inside actually is not modeled um, but that mouth is because with this model he's supposed to be a zombie and so he opens his mouth and he bites you and so when he opens his mouth you need uh, a surface in there to be able to see and so that's why the inside of his mouth is actually modeled now the eyes, you can see the eyeballs are actually um, separate meshes. They're spheres. Um, and uh, you can pretty much see that they are modeled as complete spheres. Um, I don't think that was really necessary. You probably only need a half a sphere for each eye uh, because the backs of the eyes are likely to never be seen. Um, so that probably wasn't necessary. We're, we may kind of um, at some point talk about models and, and separate sub meshes within models. Um, but this model basically consists of the uh, body body mesh, body model, 
Um, I think the mouth is actually attached to the, the body. The eyeballs are actually um, separate meshes um, so that he can look in different directions. Uh, everything else, I think, in this model is, is all just one mesh, one model. Now the um, triangles are actually defined by defining individual vertices. The uh, vertex is basically the corner of each triangle. Um, a vertex it might be confused with a point. Um, a, a, every vertex has a position. Uh, at the least. It can contain other data, but at the very least it has a 3D position. Um, basically all vertices have a point, um, but not all points necessarily have anything to do with vertices. Um, definitely there's a position, but there can be other data as well, which is one of the primary things that makes it different than a uh, one of the primary differences between a vertex and uh, a point and you know basically with any triangle I'm trying to kind of zoom in here and it's not working real well but basically any triangle um, is going to have corners and those corners are where the vertices are at and as we go along we'll, con we'll uh, look at uh, other information that's stored in the vertices as well